I'm very excited to show you radiance. And the sentiment is your strength and beauty shine from within. As you know, willow tree is open to interpretation. We want to keep it that way. And so your thoughts, your comments are just as valid as mine. So this is a little bit kind of where my head was. A word about a year before I did this piece, a word I just kept thinking of was beauty and what that means to different people. And I think that more often than not, we're, we're not necessarily talking about how someone looks, but how they make you feel that kind of goodness. In creating this piece, I wanted to give her a stance of moving forward, um, almost kind of a regal uh, stance or a regal posture. And so she's sort of, stepping forward, moving forward in a physical way, but also metaphorically. And so when I was making the piece, it was always about what is the viewer going to feel when they view, when they look at this piece? How do they feel? And so when you turn her, you get kind of a different mm -hmm. interpretation or a different sense of that. Okay, Great. so here I'm working with a, a doll clay and I work with it while it's very supple and movable and sometimes it gets a little floppy so I have to um, bake certain parts. But here you can see she is she is very still movable and I, I like working with it because I can, like I said, I, I, cur I carve in the round because we express ourselves 360 degrees. So for me to get the body to twist or to counterbalance, the whole thing has to be uh, supple. And here I'm working with your chin, kind of pushing it up. That's a little support <laughs> under there. It's yeah. not a beard. So um, <laughs> so, so you can see. And pull. Yeah, the pushing and pull. pulling. And, and, you know, I work from live models. So I'm, I'm, looking at that too, looking at the models. So here you can see her body and her arms are already baked hard, but her hair I'm doing last because I can't press on the hair when the, the body and the chin is supple. So now I'm playing around with hairdos and I looked at many hairstyles, um, both modern historically and trying to kind of do sort of my own thing. Um, and so I'm working in the clay soft on her head, but the rest of her is already. But I haven't gone in on gone in and done the final surface carving yet with the knife. Um, so we're using the blue and the gold, and it, it's kind of a reference to the um, signature signature, the signature pieces. And here you can see with the signature, we have this sort of swelling up of the blue from the bottom up, kind of that ombre or gradation, and I have to give credit to the team and especially Andrea, I'm going to call her out here. She said, well, why don't we, you know, do the whole thing? Let's try one, bring the blue all the way up. And we're like, okay, let's try it. So we loved it when we got back our, our first sample. Um, the, oh, the neckline we talked about. The that. Neckline. Yeah. 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 So I think we, we dropped the neckline a little bit. It's kind of an experiment on this piece in the back and the front ballet, well, reference to dance and movement. Um, and I want you to notice too our painting technique, which I'm very proud of and we've really worked on, but there's always transparent layers, rub off another layer. So you're actually looking through three layers here. You have the blue, the white under that, and then the rich skin tone. The color starts really deep at the, at the base and it kind of comes up in that almost like radiating, you know, a little metaphor, uh, radiating, which is her title, radiance. So like that beauty coming from within.